venison and vegan, uh, that is the sitting food kebobbled. Now, but that's something a little the back of the proof script, the title, gesture in Senda, a close mode of analysis of dance and to music from the Afro Brazilian culture, that to Luis Naveda, but then he needs to take it on the grad from Doctor in the Kunst, which is coming. He is the example of this, this, that Luis Naveda wordt toegelaten tot de verdediging van de bloed. Ik verzoek de Colobendus van een grote bijteenzetting te geven over het doel en de resultaten van zijn onderzoek en in schrik daartoe over 20 van die. Dus we hebben 20 minuten te schrijven die objectief en results doen. Dear members of the jury, Professor Edwin Williams, Professor Maurice Lovero, Professor Leon Van Orden, Professor Katharina Kennedy, Professor Dirk Miller, Professor Dodo Todorov, Professor Martin Van, ladies and gentlemen, good uh, afternoon. Brazil and the 19th century. It's interesting then to see them gather in a ring, doing so always the same figure, with accompaniment from the Lucas song, who sing out of tune and clap their hands, more or less. The Belgian count will never imagine that uh, this accompaniment uh, out of time and songs out of tune will become one of the most fascinating cultures of the, of the, of, of the African diaspora, the Samba. Neither could he imagine that a Brazilian would come to Belgium to study it. <laughs> I'm here to present the research I have conducted in the last four years, just in Samba, across modal analysis of dance, dance and music from the Afro Brazilian culture, realized under the uh, advisor of Professor Mark Lemann. This presentation is divided into three parts. First, I will introduce the main questions and problems. Then I will present some of the developments realized in dance and music analysis, together with the results of experiments. Uh, in the sequence, I uh, will draw the contributions of our work to the future. In this research, we focus on relationships between music and dance in the context of afro brazilian culture. We focus on afro brazilian samba, on the samba of bad dance, which, are, which have a profound impact on the notion of Brazilian identity and culture since the 1930s. These dances are still being danced and they still dialogue with uh, new music, imagery, and original context, such as the carnival or the African Brazilian music. Why dance and music are so interdependent in some culture? 
But before going deep into this problem, let's look at the, the music and the music analysis that we are realizing. First, let's have a look at what is known about summer music. Here you see a description of onset uh, in the musical structure uh, across uh, spectrum and across time in beats. Summer is often described as a binary form accentuated in the second beat. But, uh, uh, however, it's clear that summer is also exhibits a polymetric form, which means that uh, several metric levels can coexist in the same texture. There are plenty of written formulas about, uh, for samba, uh, but there is a constant 16-note pattern uh, in the higher portion of the spectrum. All of these observations are typically information that you, you see, that you write, or that you, you uh, see in scores. We try to go beyond these scores. We try to, to look for things that are sensitive to movement induction. We concentrate it in two points. First, microtime deviations, which are small systematic deviations in musical sets and often related to the sensation of groove or swing. And second, large periodicities in the audio signal, which are uh, related with the meter and influence the organization of dance movements. In the studies about microtiming, we developed a methodology that combines manual annotation, peak detection, and machine learning uh, methods. We tried to find patterns uh, of the microdeviations that characterize some of these. Two data sets were analyzing this Study. One of conventional music and one of spontaneous vocalizations of some of rhythms. These vocalizations were collected in Brazil from 70 musicians and non-musicians. They look like that. The results are displayed in these two graphs. They show uh, that in both conventional music and vocalizations, uh, uh, these both uh, these uh, data sets are subjected to this very sneak patterns of deviations, of small deviations. These uh, dissipations in the, in the fourth and third onsets and the delay in the first uh, onset. This indicates that although the musical structure changes completely from the music that you listen to the rhythms that you produce with the voice, the microtiming deviations remain the same. It shows the strong evidence of the importance of microtiming in summer and maybe the relevance of the sensation of group for the culture itself. Now let's look at the periodicity, the study about periodicities. We try to measure the level of periodicities in signal and how they support the binary meter claimed for summer music. We use a non autonomous transform that calculates the energy of each periodicity in the metrical levels or in the musical form. Here you can see the average of the of this period, the periodicities um, uh, for each metric level in, in, in some, uh, I don't know if you can see here, but metric level 1, for example, metric level 2, 3, 4, and so on. Um, although some is frequently defined as a binary form, and we expect a peak here in the metric level 2 bits, the results show a almost flat profile of very weak periodicities, which with, uh, with no clear tendencies. None of these metrical levels seem to govern the, the meter in some If there are no indications of clear metrical levels, and if these periodicities are weak, how dancers can find cues to organize at the choreography? Our hypothesis is that the dancing music are so connected in alphabets in ensemble that the dance is part of the magic structure of the music. Dance helps to disintegrate music, and this may be the reason for the interdependence. But how gestures of dance could reflect metric structures? This is what we try to do in this process of dance analysis. Back in 2008, we developed a method to analyze dance gestures based on periodistic transforms. Given a signal and a period, the periodistic transforms finds the best profile that fits the signal in that period and provides a measure of energy. Then we had an idea, uh, the idea to use the metrical levels of music to find relevant periodicities in dance. Uh, this, uh, this process is what we, we would call a cross-modal process because it, it combines information from two modalities in one process. In this process, we could uh, uh, input the trajectories of the body points, process it with the metrical levels of the music, and obtain a profile of periodic uh, gestures, periodic shapes or what we call basic gesture. 
The basic gesture uh, also involves a principal component, the periodicity transforms itself, which connects with the, the musical meter, and the real 